It's Friday morning. My customer's picking up his brand new Chevrolet Colorado. Uh, it's a 2021 extended cab, nice, nice truck, four wheel drive. And he's trading in his S10, which is parked next to it. Now, I want you guys to be kind. I want to show you this truck because I want to point out a couple differences, but this truck has 367,000 miles on it. It's 30 years old. So yes, it has rust issues. It has some paint flaws. It has issues. It's 30 years old. It's got 367,000 miles on it. Uh, the gentleman kept the vehicle alive because it did what it needed it to do but now he decided to replace it with something else. But look at the difference of how tall the hood is on the new trucks compared to the old trucks. Like it's incredibly, incredibly different. You know, the truck is so low to the ground. Obviously wheel sizes are a lot different. What does this actually have on it? These are 14 inch wheels on the S10. Obviously on the new, uh, new Colorado, you have 17 inch wheels. Look at this height of the door. Like when you look at the door sill, and how much different it is. Now this is a two wheel drive and this is a four wheel drive. So there's a, you know, it's understandable that it's gonna be a little bit lower than the four wheel drive truck. But even the bed height, look at how high the bed is compared to this S10 bed all the way down here. I mean, it's just an incredible, incredible difference. The tailgate's tiny compared to the new tailgates. I mean, it's twice the size, the, the new tailgate. It's just, uh, it's an incredible difference of what and how they build vehicles today than they did in the 90s, you know, 30 years ago. But uh, I may show you a little bit more of this later. Let me get my customer down the road in his new truck. Once he's done signing his paperwork, we're gonna uh, go inside, we're gonna get the navigation set up and all that sort of stuff. And then right from here, he's actually driving right up to a place uh, not too far away to get this test fit for the cap he wants to get. And then they're gonna color match that. So he'll have sort of the same setup like he had on the S10 where he can enclose the, the whole bed there. But um, yeah, satin steel, Chevrolet, Colorado, extended cab. Took eight months, seven, eight months to get this vehicle. It was ordered in December due to the big chip shortage of 2021. It didn't get here until July. Right now it's July 23rd, 22nd or 23rd, July 23rd. And uh, he's taking it home today. So he's excited, he's happy. We're gonna play a little bit of a game here. And it's gonna be how much was this 1991 fleet side S10 Chevrolet pickup MSRP back in 1991. So put your guesses down in the comments below. But just to give you a little bit of an idea of what equipment is in this vehicle, uh, it's a regular cab, it's an eight foot bed, it's a two wheel drive. Um, obviously, you know, this comes from an era of, of crank windows and no power locks and things like that. It comes from a time frame when you needed two GM keys, one to open the door and one for the ignition. Uh, this truck is a 4.3 liter V6. It starts right up. You'll see you have uh, AM, FM, cassette, and actually check this out in the glove box. Not only do we have the owner's manual, but we have the official Heartbeat of America. Today's truck is the Chevrolet S10 pickup, standard features and options cassette tape. And we're gonna see if it works. The tachometer. The tachometer indicates the speed of the engine in revolutions per minute. The indicated number times 100 gives the engine speed. As a special note, operating the engine. The wheel above the light switches controls the illumination level of the instrument panel. Rotating the wheel to the full right position turns on the dome and courtesy lights. For your convenience and accessibility, the fuse panel is located beneath the instrument cluster on the driver's side. Refer to section 2 in the owner's manual for additional information on features and controls, while section 6 shows a photo of you. Pushing the paddle on the turn signal lever engages the windshield washers. For continual washing, you must push and hold the paddle in. When you release the paddle, the washers will stop. For a single wiping cycle, turn the wiper band towards you to mist. If you have the op... Well, that was pretty cool, huh? Technology of 1991. You sit in your brand new truck, you get your cassette tape here, you put it in your cassette deck, and you just run through the options as the, the lady in the program tells you all about your truck. 
Definitely a lot easier now that you can just hop on an iPad, go to YouTube, Dave B sells Chevy, and check out videos with me, or anybody for that matter that puts videos out, including General Motors. You know, you can go on the mobile app and you can see how-to videos right onto my Chevrolet app, um, you know, which is awesome. Plus it's searchable. So rather than having to fast forward and get to the section of cassette you want, you just search obviously what you want and the information these days is at our fingertips literally in, in, in a second. Back to what the truck has in it. So it's a 1991 fleet side pickup. It's got the 4.3 liter V6 gas engine, uh, 18 miles per gallon in the city, 24 on the highway. Now, this is the standard equipment vehicle with the additional preferred equipment group, which gave you Tahoe trim, power steering, the AM FM stereo with cassette, deluxe two-tone paint, a chrome rear bumper, uh, the 14 inch wheels and tires, a sliding rear window, which is right behind me here, and auxiliary lighting. So that was one package that was added. It also had the four speed automatic with overdrive. So no manual transmission in this truck. We mentioned the V6, that was an upgrade. I'm not sure what the standard engine is. Actually here it is right here. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. And uh, lastly, this car has, well, it's got two things. It has heavy duty rear springs, which was an option added. And it has the Garnet special custom cloth with high back bucket seats so to get the high back bucket seat by the way this seat is literally against the back of the truck there is no movement backwards uh as far as recline actually is there a recline in here there might be recline it's just a seat so far back it won't recline but i gotta tell you for the size for how small it is on the outside it's actually pretty roomy on the inside you know i got plenty of leg room i got headroom it's it's actually a relatively big interior cabin considering how small this truck seemed next to the colorado when i had the two of them together but anyway go to the comments and put in what you think msrp is of this vehicle when it was brand new back in 1991 and i'll be sure to update you in a future video of the answer